Okay, quick video today on the DLSS options for Forza Motorsport. There is an options folder or file uh, that you can access in the directories, but it's a bit hidden. So I'll put the directory location or link in the description below. You can either follow along and find it yourself or um, just change where it says username at the start and put your own OS directory name in and then you'll be able to find the file. Open it with Notepad. You want to go down to the highlight section that says DLSS G uh, enable. That at a moment or well, by default will be 0, 0.00 by multiple zeros. Uh, we want to change it to one dot. Uh, don't put a space in before or after. And the other thing I do as well, uh, further down that text file is you'll have a DLS option and it will normally be balanced. Uh, I changed mine to performance. It doesn't really need to be quality or balance. Performance is probably better if you just want more frames and you want a smoother kind of uh, gameplay. So yeah, that's why I put mine up. Um, a lot of people are saying to use mods, uh, that you need a mod to be able to activate this or do this. You don't. Mods are great, but sometimes some mods can be dangerous to your PC. There are some evil people out there that will use mods to spread nasty stuff. So yeah, I always kind of try and make a game run better before I get into the mod world. Um, and this DLS, you don't need a mod to do. Once you activate it and go into the game, you'll actually see it in the game settings as being activated. If you do a benchmark before you enable this and then go back into the game after you've enabled it, you'll see a big difference in quality. Visually and performance wise of how the game is, it's less, less stuttery um, and you get a lot more frames, which is what we want. Um, I generally run my game at 144 to match my monitor and I'm quite happy with it being around 115 to 140 frame uh, there is times it drops to 110 i'm happy with that i don't want this game to be up in the, the top hundreds just a bit above 100 for me is what i like uh yeah so i'm gonna do a benchmark i don't think the benchmark gives the game any justice really when it comes to the settings it's literally just visually it's just there but if you actually do a gameplay itself which i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a little race around silverstone you'll see that it's um Looks pretty damn good with DLS running. I'm running a game of medium, don't need it to be a high. Um, as you've seen already, it looks pretty damn good at medium, and that's thanks to DLSS. Uh, the added note to running a game of medium instead of at maximum is I'm not putting so much load on the graphics card. Yes, I've got a 4080. Yes, it could technically, if I absolutely push it to the wall, do the game in high. And if I played the game at 1080 at high, I would probably be able to max the game out but I'm not I'm playing at 1440 and I'm happy with it at medium that's my personal preferences uh, the other thing is I can't get the game loading into Nvidia control panel I'm trying a test file at the minute to see if it works if I can manipulate the game through Nvidia control panel that is my preferred option um, but at the moment it doesn't seem like it likes it so I'm, I'm still tinkering with that uh, I might do another video in the future for that Okay guys, if this video helps you, give it a like as always, and subscribe to the channel if you can, if you want to, get notified for any future videos, obviously I'm putting out a whole load of gameplays anyway in Forza, doing races, they kind of launch every Thursday for the weekend, so I might do it like a special week over Christmas of races every day, we'll see. Uh, okay, thanks for watching guys, drink up.